All right, last one. We got a little, uh, you know, I'm interested in the history of human beings, life on planet Earth, things like this. Now, there's been a lot of talk in the past about what it, what exactly was it that caused humans to be humans and particularly our, our uh, uh, strangely huge brains. Like there was a period of time relatively from an evolutionary perspective, uh, uh, a short period of time where the human brain grew quite large mm -hmm. and way larger than the primate ancestors and things like this. Mm -hmm. And they're like, wait, what happened in that period? Like what kind of magic? And so you'll find people on YouTube who tell you it was, you know, somebody got touched by an alien. <laughs> you, you, you'll find people on YouTube that say uh, somebody was eating something special. Yeah, you, I heard I, it was like protein. Okay, you'll find protein. Animal, you hear people say cooking, wire. cooking food. Like yeah. it's all these different things. Anyway, there's a new study here. And of course, it's controversial. Anything around this is going to be controversial. But this is the hypothesis. The hypothesis from scientists at Tel Aviv University suggest that as large animals vanished from the landscape, the large herbivores that humans would have had a relatively easy time getting nutrition from, hmm. right? I mean, you see this picture right here. It's a huge buffalo. And you got four or five people with spears. And then if they bring the animal down, you're feeding a whole community. Mm -hmm. So... D d this group over here, the amount of uh, mental energy that would have to go in, the, the amount of craftiness is not all that much. Big hulking animal, stab, don't get hit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what it is. You don't, there's no trapping. There's no, so anyway, what I'm trying to get to is as these animals started to exit the landscape, at least at the volume that they originally were, that humans had now figured out how to hunt them that humans had to transition to the smaller game. Mm. And the smaller game required way craftier techniques to, to, to win out and way more hunting in general, mm. right? For the whole community. Because you think about it, you gotta catch a rabbit or a small deer or something. It's not the same proceeds for everybody. Yeah. So everybody's gotta figure it out. And the reason, part of their, and again, controversial hypothesis, whatever, take it for what it is. But actually, the brain afterwards slightly sh shrank after farming began. So listen to this, okay? Big game hunting brain, 40 cubic inches. Two million years ago, this is the hypothesis, two million years ago, afterwards, it goes to 92 cubic inches. And that's right around the cusp of agriculture becoming the, the thing. It's like, this is too easy. And then the farming comes out and it goes down to 80 cubic inches. So it doesn't go all the way back down, but it goes, isn't that interesting stuff? Yeah. So huh. m maybe your your brain would be more lit up if on the daily you couldn't just reach for the cereal box or you couldn't just uh, reach for the prepared meal or yep. go to the grocery store, walk down the aisle and be like, oh, that chicken looks nice. I'll take it. Yeah. We have to go out and hunt rabbits. I mean, it, right it would definitely keep you sharp. You'd be in an adrenaline state, starving all the time. Uh -huh. uh, a, a rabbit between you and I, what are we doing here? Yeah. yeah. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna last us too long. We gotta be in a crafty mindset. Anyway, it's just a hypothesis. Just a hypothesis. Because you do have all those other things occurring too. You do have the uh oh, the other thing they were saying, if you if you got this if you got the big game, the buffalo, the elephant, whatever you name it, you got the community. You are uh, uh, maybe not finishing the whole animal. You're maybe not as trying to suck all the nutrition. The carcass could sit there. Maybe the vultures come along, whatever it might be. When you got the small game, you need to eat all of it. Hmm. And so what do people end up doing? They end up eating different parts of the animal that they maybe were skipping before. Oh. And maybe now what they're doing, they're going to cook the bones till all the marrow, all the fat comes out, all the pro mm. pro protein. Maybe they're getting all these other elements of nutrition that were previously being skipped over because of the abundance of the large game. This is the hypothesis. That's what these researchers are working on. Obviously, there's plenty of other hypotheses out there. Uh, but I thought this was interesting. Cool.